Hey guys, well, it's the fall and uh, that time of year where I want to use my crock pot. So today I'm making a crock pot recipe. Um, I think I'll call it crock pot Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be making something with a uh, pork roast, boneless pork roast, and some vegetables. So I'm going to start with opening this package. It's a pork rib roast, boneless, and it's got pork hitta spice on it. gonna put that I already sprayed my crock pot so it doesn't stick and I put it on low for four hours I have one two three four carrots and four pieces of celery I'm gonna wash that up cut that up and put that in the crock pot Okay, so I got my celery and my carrots all along the sides of the porchetta. Okay, so I got half an onion that I found in my fridge, left over from another recipe. I'm just going to cut that up. And add that to my pot. Now that your vegetables are in there, you're going to take a can of cream of bacon from Campbell's and just pour it on top. Can of cream of bacon. Then we're going to spread it around all over the top. There we go. Add a bit of pepper, some gr dehydrated green chives from my garden. Could be fresh, but I don't have fresh right now, so I'm using my dehydrated ones. And that's it, guys. You just stick on the lid, and in about four hours, you'll come back and you'll mix it up a little bit. And then we'll see what happens and how it looks. Four hours. Okay, today it's October 19th and it's beautiful out. So I'm going to be doing something on the deck. I bought this uh, wooden bird feeder, bird house, at Dollar Tree. So I figure, why not spruce it up? Make it special for pictures for peanuts. I had some old wood finish. Some natural and some... I think it's dark walnut. So I'm going to be using that to stain it. Okay, so I'm doing the balancing act on RJ's red stool, so hopefully he doesn't come along and knock it over. There we go. Okay, nice and set. There we go. Okay, so let's do something with this birdhouse. Um, I don't have any sponges. I need those little sponges to put the stain on. And I don't want to wreck my paintbrushes. So I'm just going to use a napkin. I don't know if you can see me. Let's see. I'll have to turn you a little bit more. There we go. Napkin. We're going to use the light one. I'm going to put it on didn't do much. I know some of you are probably cringing at home like, what is she doing? Well, I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> I'm getting the stuff on there no matter what. It's going to be a light stain. So I think this is clear. Natural it's called. So it's just going to be clear. Hmm. I'm not like that then. Lots of traffic today. Sometimes living on the highway, you know. Goodbye, loves. Have Love a good you. day at work. Bye bye. Enjoy your lunch. I'll put some pork rinds in your lunch today. Oranges, uh, a brownie, cheese, uh, crackers. Yeah, 
he got a nice lunch today again. I didn't make him a sandwich. We're trying to get off the bread. Well, it gives a little bit of a yellow texture. Look. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. We'll do this side. Maybe add a little bit more this time. Just kind of rub it in. I should be using a paintbrush, but... RG saying bye, do you hear him? He's saying bye to Jay. <laughs> yeah, he's going to work, RG. He'll be back later. <laughs> he's not happy about that. <laughs> See, once Jay's gone, there's no problem. He won't be screaming or yelling or anything. All right, there's that word again. All right, all right, all right. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Yeah, you can still see, see me. Making a birdhouse. Or, decorating a birdhouse. For pictures for peanuts. There we go. There, that's cute. Okay, that one I'm gonna close the lid. And you're gonna wait for a bit to dry there. Okay, so now that that's dry, we're gonna do the top. I'm gonna do the roof in a darker walnut. I think it's dark, dark walnut. Let's see if you can see that. You can see that? Yeah, you can. Okay, so now I'm gonna... Ooh, that's really dark walnut. Oh yeah, I used the stain when I did my door in my bathroom. That was a pain in the ass. A pain in the butt, there we go. Rub it in. There. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm not a professional. I do things my way. There we go. It's just to make it look nice for outside, for my birds and my squirrel because I'm gonna put a thing around it for the squirrels too. They take turns. Ooh. Gotta be careful not to get it on my clothes. I usually do everything without an apron. Even when I cook I don't use an apron. Because I try to master that part by not wearing an apron and not getting dirty when I cook or when I do my arts and crafts. Mind you, I don't fear getting dirty. I just don't want to. Okay. Oh, it's starting to look so cute! Look at that! Should make a bunch of these and sell them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna finish that and I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. You look closely. Look who's doing his own thing in the back of me. RJ? RJ? Are you eating your peanuts while I do my crafts? Being a good boy? He's chilling out too. Okay, so I stained the door. I made a door kind of thing. Stained around it. I got a... See, it's got those lines. For 
lines, whatever you call it. That's okay, that's what I'm going for. I want that look. So I'm going to let that dry for the day, and I'll be back on my next video. And hopefully I'll be making some more of this. Um, I found some fencing, so I'm going to paint that as well. I've got some metal pieces here. I can use that for, I guess, I don't know, I was thinking about putting a roof, tin roof. We'll see. But anyways, that's my project so far. Well, it's been two hours, or, yeah, about two hours, so I'm going to open it up and take a peek. Ooh, look at that. That looks delicious. Oh, yes. See, because it's a porchetta, a spice on the, the pork, you don't have to add too many ingredients. Uh, when it comes to spices, because um, it's already spicy, right? It's already spiced up. That looks good. Another two hours and it should be ready. Now it's time for lunch. So today for lunch, I made myself a bottle of spring water with half a lemon and red berry zinger tea. Uh, I also made some... Well, I peeled an apple. I got uh, Queen Anne olives, triscuits, rosemary triscuits, with laughing cow. I love this one. Laughing cow. You take one of these, like a cream cheese, put it on there. Garlic and herb, and uh, red chill, uh, red pepper sauce. So put that on there. Oh, and I can't forget. My apple cider vinegar 500 milligram tablet helps you lose uh, fat and helps you digest. So yeah, that's my lunch for today. Nice and simple, nice and fast. So I have about an hour and 18 minutes left. So I'm going to cut up a sweet potato and two white potatoes. And I'm going to put that in the crock pot. Okay, so that's in the crock pot now. I'm going to try to cover it up as much juice as possible. I'm try to put it around the porchetta. There was a lot of liquid in here because of the condensation from the lid. So you don't have to add lid, liquid extra to it because there's a lot in there. Okay, so try to flatten that down a little bit. So another hour and 14 minutes, it should be ready. Dinner is served. So I'm going to cut that up and put it on my plate and try it. Okay, four hours in the crock pot and this is falling apart like pulled pork. Nice and tender. Mm. Vegetables are nice and tender as well. This is going to be delicious. I have some leftover quinoa from yesterday. So I'm just going to put some pork on the side. I'm going to keep some for Jay for his lunch tomorrow. Well, there's quite a bit here, so. Some of that nice vegetable broth there. Some potatoes. Oh, this is beautiful. There's so, so much broth in there, I could actually add to it and make it like a soup if I wanted to. And there you go, guys. That's a nice four-hour porchetta in the crock pot. With leftover quinoa. Carrots, celery, sweet potatoes, and a white potato. A yellow potato. And that's my Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to me. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, and be sure to click on that notification bell. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.
pour some of that juice in there. Let's try this. Let's find that. Some quinoa in there. Maybe some carrot. Ooh, it's hot. Got a blow. Mm. Mm hmm. Mmm, so tender. So very tender. Happy Tuesday.